Um, the, the new record with Shakira, uh, I can basically tell you the story since the, the last album that we worked on with her, which wasn't that we went in the studio and worked with her, no one should perform. She kind of just came over and asked for ideas of what was going on. She wanted to be back. She said, I want to tap into the Latin roots, but from the streets. I said, there's this movement called Mambo in the Dominican Republic. This guy named Cata, he's got big records down there. You might want to listen to him. She loved Loca, she loved Raviosa, and she did another one called I'm Thinking, uh, Thinking of You. Or something like that. Okay, right now. And she was supposed to be in, um, in your other track. She was supposed to be, but this is how it happened. So, like I said, okay. Sin Lo Dienta Fuera, creating the relationship with Shakira, which is an amazing artist and person. And she you know, gave me trust as far as what we were listening to and records that we were looking at. So when I sent her over, give me everything, she was going through some personal things. Didn't knock out, give me everything. She missed, I think, uh, I, I found love in a hopeless place, which Rihanna knocked that out of the park. Number one, God knows, at time, Pluto. And don't say <laughs> So she called me back and she said, hey, I want to get with you and see what's going on and what's the new movements. And this and that. So we sit down, play the records, and I had this one record that Tank had wrote and Mark Kitchen produced with Sidney Samson and Buddha. And then she said, uh, at first we were going to knock out Feel So Close, the record that we're just, you know, getting very big now. And she took it back to Spain and she said, look, I knocked out, but get it started. You might, you might like it, you might not, but I think it sounds good. So when I heard it, I was like, does it sound good? Ooh. I was in Cannes, France, doing the NRJ Awards with her. And uh, there was a bunch of execs there. And the rooms are built so that you can hear up top because there's no roof, so you can hear everything going on. So yo siempre ando con bocina. And I hooked it up and I started playing the record and the execs started going crazy. What's that? What's this? What's that? Blah, blah, blah. I said, no, it's not me and Shakira, dude. So that's where the hype started on the record. ¿Tú me entiendes? Siempre con estrategia. Calculado. And in a case like that, tú sencillamente se lo mandas and you trust that she's going to do what you want her to do. He doesn't trust Shakira, right? <laughs> Papo, a mi mamá, her hips don't lie. <laughs> si las caderas no dicen mentira, no te preocupes de las canciones. <laughs> so who doesn't trust you? How does it work with you? For example, Jennifer has you in, in Dance Again. Yeah. She just sends it to you and she says, do your thing and yeah. then send it over? Yeah, absolutely. No one looks, what, what if somebody says, listen, I gotta be in the studio with you to see what you're gonna do? Then get in the studio. You? No, no, get in the studio. I'm in sin problem, I don't know. I say, no hay caraño. You know, what do you want to do? No problem. Let's do it. Like Shakira on this record. She's like, oh, I think we should change this part of B. Maybe we could try this. I say, mama, do whatever you want at the end of the day. Okay? Because when we sit back, and in the music business that we're in right now, we sit back, we pick which is a hit. You may disagree, you may agree, but every other one that we didn't pick is going to be a remix anyway. <laughs> so, it's a win-win, mama. We are the That's the way I look at it. No problems, just solutions. I'm, uh, I'm very easy to work with. I like to get in there, be on time, do my job, and get out with us. I got, I got fun to have. Man. Nice to share with So when is this record coming out, the Shakira? The Shakira one we're looking at right now, we're going back and forth with, uh, with her management trying to figure it out. But with uh, Back in Time doing so great, and with the movie coming out, depending on uh, the trajectory from there, then we can figure out we're going to put out Shakira. But hypothetically speaking, I say mid-June, maybe early July release on this record. And when is the new album? It's called Global Warming. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think the room knows about global warming, so you can tell us a little no, bit. No, I think they know about global warming because it's hot in here. Okay? <laughs> 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 well, do you want something else to drink? Are you telling me? I'm going to make a little bit of... Well, it's not so Global warming is about, it's called pit life in global warming. And the reason that I put those together is because I feel that our career has been well, I mean, let's just look at it. Let's, let's even take it a step further, which I just came up with this. I'm shooting.